on Daily Bitcoin Pod. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis. And this just in, a new record Bitcoin hash rate has been achieved of 450 quintillion exahashes per second. And quoting the high priest, Max Kaiser, Bitcoin is self-aware in fighting AI on behalf of humanity. The hash precedes the price. The hash adjusted price is close to $400,000 per coin. Send it and let's go. Also in today's show, Bloomberg analyst says the crypto sector's market cap can explode by a whopping 3,900%. Also, major asset manager makes a flattering comparison of Bitcoin. And we talk about fidelity, four and a half trillion of assets under management. Also in today's show, BRICS currency is almost ready and will be much more attractive than the U.S. dollar, the pound, and the euro, according to an ex-Russian minister. Also in today's show, we'll be discussing Bitcoin Prime to explode by over 400% to $180,000, according to top crypto analysts. I'll be breaking down his timeline. We're also going to be discussing what will the Bitcoin price look like after the Bitcoin halving and the Bitcoin ETF in 2024. And I think these Bitcoin price predictions are going to blow your mind. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market, all this, plus so much more in today's show. And you know what to do if you're new to the channel. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and get an on-screen shout out. Also, make sure to hit that like button as it helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, I greatly appreciate everyone's support. You're also going to notice a poll in the live chat asking how much will one Bitcoin be worth after the BlackRock ETF? Please let me know. And at the end of the show, we'll be reading these results out loud. Massive shout out to everyone in that live Live chat. What is good, crypto fam? Welcome to another Sat Stacking Saturday. Bitcoin's looking to break above that 35,000 resistance, flip it to a support, and hit a new annual high. What's good, Will Stop Some versus Guru? Jay Bella in the building says the best channel for the news. Well, let's get them likes up. Prove it to me. TJ, what's up? He says 100 million sats. Word? Yeah, Yahim Stone, pump it up. Let's go. What up, Tiffany? Appreciate the love on the hat. You got to represent as we're orange pilling the masses here. Bitcoin is already priceless. You got that right, Will. No argument there from me. Massive shout out to Zero Dollar G Row. I appreciate the super chat. You're way too kind. He says, sup, Crypto News Alerts fam. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to JV. Appreciate all the hard work. Those mods, including Bitcoin Maximus. We got Digital Dankness. We got the Coin Father. We got Streamlabs and the rest of the crew. Shout out to the dog he's sleeping in the back. His name is Nipsey. If you didn't know, now you know. We have lots to cover, so let's dive right in and kick it off as we do each and every day with our market watch. As you can see here on Coin360, we got Bitcoin in the green, currently sitting above 34,800. You also have most of the major cryptos also in the green. And I love to zoom out. They say, when in doubt, zoom out. Check out the gains for the past month. 25% for the king, not too shabby. Almost 12% for ETH, 15% for XRP. We have 25% for Cardano, 79% for Solana, and Link is also up. 48%. And checking out coinmarketcap.com, the current crypto market cap back on the rise at $1.3 trillion with roughly $28 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. We got the Bitcoin dominance at 52.3% and the Ether dominance at 17% even. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past week, Pancake Swap up 25%, trading at $1.88, followed by Immutable up 16%, trading at $0.80, cents, followed by Lido Dow up 10% trading at $2.02. And, and if we check out the crypto bubbles here, you can see massive gains across the altcoin market as the market cap increases across the crypto. A rising tide rises all ships. And if we zoom out, let's check it out for the year. Check out how cryptos are doing. Some crypto projects are up like 1,400%, which is insane. Some are in the red, some are in the green. And for the monthly, you can see here virtually everything is in the green. Rose up 70%. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the super chat once again. Don't forget about Nipsey. Another shout out. Much love, much respect. Thank you, 
$0.00. Giro. Now let's check out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows were currently rated as 68. Yesterday, a 65. Last week, a 65. All of which is within greed, with last month being a 48. So there you have it, Crypto Fam. How many of you are currently bullish on the King Crypto? Let me know. As you know, we're in moon November. That's when things get exciting. Typically, the most bullish month of the year. And we just came off the back of October, which did not disappoint whatsoever. Crypto News Alerts doing his thing. Thank you, Papa G. Appreciate it. Much love, fam. Thank you, Dankness. Appreciate you always. Jason Farini, let's get these BTCs. You already know. Jack Giong, bring it. Let's go. What up, Brian? I appreciate you tuning in. Kazen Dave. <laughs> yes, appreciate you as well. Passive income in the building. We got Johnny Smith. Bitcoin to the moon. Send it. And speaking of Bitcoin to the moon, let's dive into today's Bitcoin technical analysis. Check out the charts where the Bitcoin price action is likely. Heading next. Here we go. Here's the latest TA. Bitcoin sought to pressure 35 Gs November 4th as the weekend market continues to consolidate higher. Here you're looking at the Bitcoin one hour candle chart. Now data from Cointelegraph and TradingView showed Bitcoin support holding after the end of the Wall Street trading with Bitcoin seeing a revisit of intraday lows the day prior. But 34 Gs successfully passed the test as a short term Bitcoin price floor. Hallelujah. And after nearly hitting 36 Gs during the week, Bitcoin Bitcoin was still a favorite for traders eyeing a potential upside continuation. In fact, Credible Crypto suggests that a trip past 35,000 was the logical next step. And uploading Elliott Wave analysis, Credible revealed three key levels to watch. So please take note of these price levels. We got 34.3, 34.7, and 35.1, forming the range low, the mid range point, and high, respectively. Quoting him here, the key thing here is that we have impulsed above the mid range, and now we want to see if we can hold that as a reclaim. In that case, what we have essentially done here is reclaim the mid-range for continuation up rather than a move off to the range lows. We are making a move off of the mid-range and he breaks that down alongside this chart. Now, Credible added that a strong volume significant event was helping this trajectory along with the lack of desire to sell at the current levels. I mean, you got to be out of your mind to be selling at a time like this, fam. We got Bitcoin having around the corner, so many bullish catalysts, the ETF. You name it. So continuing on how the weekend and weekly close should shape up, Dan Crypto Trades shared the following, quitting him here from X. Bitcoin, let's see how the weekend will do this time around. Been saying this every week, but remember that during a strong trend, the probability of price creating a gap and not closing it immediately is much higher than during a choppy market. He makes a great point. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the analyst. Another trader by the name of Jelly shared the following. Bitcoin is retesting the one hour 200 exponential moving average for the first time in 18 days, 25% higher than the last retest. The moving averages have caught up to the Bitcoin price and the next leg higher after the weekend. Now losing 34.1 is where I'll look for a head short against my long position, according to Crypto Tony. He also shared and would be ideal for anyone looking for a new entry. I remain in my long though, while we hold above 33,000 dollars. So there you have it. And as pointed out here, breaking news, Bitcoin continues smashing new records when it comes to the hash rate. And we all know the Bitcoin price follows the hash rate. We just hit 450 quintillion exahashes per second. That's a pretty big deal. Now, here's what Max had to share off the back of that. Bitcoin is self-aware and fighting AI on behalf of humanity. The hash precedes the price. The hash adjusted price for Bitcoin is close to $400,000 per coin. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the high priest. What's up, Larry Fink for president? I don't know about all that. I would say Larry Fink is probably way more powerful than the president and absolutely demands much more respect than Sleepy Joe. <laughs> That's not saying a lot though. What up, Skip? After BlackRock ETF could mean 100 years after. No, it's not gonna take 100 years to get the ETF, but I see your point. You're being silly with me. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't help when it, it is approved. You're asking what the price will immediately happen. No, here, let me define what I mean. After the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, it's not going to launch for a few months after. So we're just talking about 
in the year 2024, what do you think the peak high for the Bitcoin price action will be? Because we will have that ETF launched by that time. And I appreciate you asking because I wanted to clarify that anyways. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for SBF, we wouldn't uh, be stacking uh, 15 to 25K sats. The real Robin Hood of Bitcoin, well, definitely gave a lot of people a great big window of opportunity to seize that moment. That's for sure. Ride the king crypto. Yes, that's right. All the way to the moon. You know what I mean? So if the hash rate is so important, why is Bitcoin not higher? It's a lagging indicator. It's a good sign that the network fundamentals have never been stronger. Trust me, you're going to see Bitcoin rip the faces off the perma bears when it goes parabolic in 2024. And I think we hit the peak in 2025. I think we could potentially have a double top. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm never selling JV. You can't have any of my corn. Good. That's what the rest of us need to say. The rest of us plebs to MicroStrategy, BlackRock and all these major asset managers. What up, fair ground? Bitcoin heading to 35 again. We shall soon see. We're very close on the cusp. Maybe we'll break it during today's live. Get those likes up and let's make it happen. We pumped tremendously last time. Uh, 420 word up. He's going to be in the person for the rest or in prison for the rest of his life, referring to Bankman Freed. We covered the outcome of the trial. They didn't begin sentencing. Sentences, sentencing don't begin till March. However, he was found guilty on all seven counts of fraud. And there's more criminal charges he is facing. Not looking good for Bankman Freed. But we'll see how all that plays out. Now let's break down our next story of the day and discuss this potential 3,900% increase specifically in this crypto sector, according to some analysts. Let's break this one down. Here we go. Bloomberg Intelligence analyst Jamie Couts says one crypto sector can experience explosive growth over the next half a decade. Couts says that smart contract blockchains such as Ethereum and Solana could reach 100 million daily users by 2028, which would be not this upcoming halving, but the following one by growing at 20% quarter on quarter. And according to Couts, the number of daily users of smart contract blockchains is currently over 5 million as a result of a quarter on quarter growth rate of 29% all the way since 2019. A growth in the user base from 5 million to 100 million equates to 20x growth. I mean, look at this. This is actually absolutely insane. You can see where we are. We're that little spec that says September 2023 with that purple line. So you can see this projected growth curve is insane. The Bloomberg Intelligence Analyst says that the growth of smart contract blockchains may mirror that of online payments giant PayPal, which I believe has roughly 400 million plus active users, quoting them here. It took PayPal 13 years to reach 100 million daily users. They now have more than 400 million, but the growth has slowed. If Ethereum was day zero for smart contracts since 2015, then it may take a similar time frame for the blockchains to reach a similar level of adoption. And check out that chart as I sip some water. <sighs> Appreciate you, fam. Pretty crazy, right? So according to Couts, a 20% growth rate quarter on quarter can result in a total market cap of the smart contract ecosystem soaring from around $350 billion currently to between $5 trillion to $14 trillion. Whoa. When the number of users rises to $100 million, an increase of between 1,300 and 3,900%, quoting the Bloomberg analyst here, while overly simplistic extrapolations such as this should never be solely relied on for valuation purposes, the exercise illustrates that users and prices are inextricably linked and that as adoption continues, the prices are likely to track much higher for some assets. So there you have it, fam. Let me know if you are also bullish for that sector and how many of you are currently bullish on Ethereum or Solana. I got to throw out there, Solana is one of the top gainers uh, for the past month, roughly up 80%, which is wild. Even Arthur Hayes just said, I bought some Solana. You know what I mean? So a lot of people are expecting big things. I find that interesting. Uh, happy Saturday to all. Shout out to the Hoddle King. Checking in from London. Shout out to my fam from the UK. As I travel the world, wouldn't miss the JV live stream during my travels. Much love, much respect. Long live the Hoddle King. Stay hydrated. You know the name of the game, Will. You gotta... Health first, right? Jeffrey, what it do? I think the miners are undervalued, but at the same time, their profits are about to be cut in half next year also. But price, if Bitcoin should be over double what it is at least. So yeah, undervalued. Yeah, I think we can all agree that Bitcoin is tremendously undervalued at this current time. A great time to be stacking them stats. You know what I mean? So good stuff. And digital says, are there specific cognitive 
uh, biases like loss aversion or hurting behavior that affect investors' decision making during the Bitcoin price dips 100%. And there's really no telling how high we go once we enter that price discovery mode, which means we enter a new all time high never seen before in Bitcoin. The previous all time high is 69,000. Once we surpass that price discovery, Let's see how high we climb. It's going to get crazy with the FOMO like a mofo. Mark my words. I honestly can't believe with what everyone knows is coming that no money is coming in from regular people. Thank God we don't think like regular people. Amen to that. I think you make a great point. Rep in West Hill, California in the building. That's what's up, Pop G. Everyone, let me know where you're tuning in from. This is a live and interactive show. I stream live daily from Puerto Rico. So massive shout out to y'all. All right, fam, let's break down the next story coming from Fidelity, one of the world's largest asset managers with four and a half trillion in assets under management. Here's what they have to share, making comparisons to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a store value currency, an inflation hedge, also a deflation hedge, likable to exponential gold, according to Jurian Timmer, head of global macro of Fidelity. Now, the analysts argued that both Bitcoin and gold boast distinct but attractive risk-reward ratios right now, and that both may be players on the same team regarding their investment thesis. And a shout out to Leslie Thompson. I appreciate you tuning into the show and participating via the Super Chat. Much love and much respect. Now, as outlined, Timmer, Bitcoin began is rallying again this year with the line, the pattern of the previous boom and bust cycles. The asset reclaimed 35 Gs per Bitcoin on Wednesday with market participants excited over the potential spot Bitcoin ETF approval within the next two months. In fact, a lot of people are saying we can get that approval before the end of November. It's also arguably rallied as a flight to quality as the BlackRock CEO shared on live news for savers as the market loses faith in long dated treasuries pumping its price alongside of gold, quoting Timmer here. Historically, during structural regimes in which inflation runs hot, the real rates are negative and or money supply growth is excessive, gold tends to shine and gain market share relative to the GDP. Now, investors have frequently compared Bitcoin to gold. In fact, I remember it being called gold with wings, gold point 2.0, etc. You know what I mean? For its strong monetary properties, including its reliable scarcity compared to fiat currency. Some, such as Michael Saylor, the Giga Chat himself, consider Bitcoin an even better alternative for its digital benefits in the early stage of the adoption cycle. And the same with Kathy Wood. They asked her recently on Bloomberg, Kathy, do you prefer Bitcoin or gold? She says, Bitcoin, hands down, hands down Bitcoin, right? Now, while Bitcoin remains far more volatile than gold today, Timmer notes on Thursday, that this works to its advantage during the rally. When comparing the risk-reward of Bitcoin versus the other asset classes in 2020, he said the digital currency is in a different universe. He finally gets it. That's right. We are in a different universe when it comes to Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin is down 54% from its two-year high, but it's also up 84% from the low. Now, government bonds can't hold a candle to that risk-reward math, and neither can many of the other asset classes, at least at the current moment. Now, Fidelity has four years run a digital asset unit, champion crypto as an investable asset class, offering bulk custody and trading services for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. The asset manager is actively working with the regulators on its application to launch their spot Bitcoin ETF, an investment product expected to invite billions of dollars of institutional capital into Bitcoin. I'd reword that into trillions because we're talking about a $700 trillion total addressable market. But anyway, Anyways, BlackRock is now competing with Fidelity for the offering, which analysts believe may be simultaneously approved for all applicants at around the same time in January, which becomes the million dollar question. When spot Bitcoin ETF approval and what will that do to the price? Let us know in that poll, fam. We currently got 222 votes. Let's get some more. That's right. What up, Dollar G Row? I noticed Coinbase stock has gone up significantly recently, even though I am still down from where I bought it a few months back. Oh, word. So you're holding Coinbase stock like Kathy Wood. Anyone worried this is massive cash grab as a uh, camping hounds? I have 6,000 in Bitcoin, two and a half percent of my investments. Am I bullish? Um, if you only have two and a half percent of your investments into Bitcoin, 
I don't consider that bullish. <laughs> if you have over 90% of your investments of your portfolio into Bitcoin, I'd consider that bullish or all in for that sake. Sailor's MSTR stocks are better than an ETF, no fees and better leverage. He welcomes the spot ETF to help the institutional adoption and millions of others around the globe. That's right, Robert Brady. Appreciate you sharing and tuning in. What's your Bitcoin price prediction for this bull run? That's an excellent question. I'm going to be covering all the top predictions for 2024, and it's literally going to blow your mind because this aren't numbers pie out of the sky. These are from major asset managers and the champions within the crypto sector and within the financial markets. What up, Jared? What it do? Uh, Nate says, I am hoping for approval in November and through some of the ETFs won't be immediately ready to trade. I suspect one of the few will pretty damn quickly or darn quickly. Yeah, uh, potentially GBTC. They're already holding all the underlying asset of Bitcoin because you have to hold it in order to offer it. And they're the largest hodler of Bitcoin in the world with over 600,000 BTC, while the other asset managers are trying to catch up right now, which I believe is driving the price action up. Let me know what you think. The fam fam. Hey, JV, first time catching the live. Well, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Life is good. Live good with Bitcoin. That's what's up, Mr. Crabbin. I appreciate you. Uh, gold got its ETF on the first Monday in November. Thanks for letting us know, Knox Bill. And the difference between the Bitcoin ETF and the gold ETF is the Bitcoin ETF will be the first ETF in financial history to have true price discovery. We all know gold markets are massively manipulated. That's the major difference. What up, fried cash? Who would have ever thought the Bitcoin is the safe asset, <laughs> right, 10 years ago? But we all know it's a fact now. 100,000 will be a huge psychological market resistance level. Word up. Well, I'm going to get back to the content because we still have so much to share. So let's break down our next story of the day. Now that we covered Fidelity, let's discover the BRICS currency almost ready. Curious, what do you think that currency is going to be? Well, let's discuss this. This is information which leaked from a former Russian minister saying the BRICS currency with unique attributes is nearly ready to launch. Say goodbye to the U.S. dollar. Bye bye fiat currency. <laughs> In a new interview with the TV Bricks, Sergey Glazeve says that the currency itself is almost complete, but it still needs support from all of the leaders of the Economic Alliance. Now, according to him, some member nations have already thrown their weight behind the currency. Quoting the man here, we need only political will because technically this currency is almost ready. The software and mathematical tools have been created. And in order to launch this currency, we need the political consent of the BRICS countries, three of which have already expressed their support for the idea of introducing a new currency through their head of state. We are awaiting for the reaction of China and India. Now, the former minister also says that Russia will be in a position next year, 2024, to convince the other BRICS nations to green light the currency, quoting him here. And in order to launch such a currency, Russia, as the presiding country next year, could convene an international conference to sign the agreement on the introduction of such new international settlement currency. Send it and let's go. As a whole, the BRICS nations have expressed varying levels of support for the common currency, with leaders in Russia, Brazil, firmly behind the idea. Also, South Africa, the most conservative, expressing the need for a cautious approach while emphasizing the importance of the U.S. dollar. But according to this Russian ex-minister, the new currency will be backed by two baskets, which would make it less susceptible to debasement and more attractive than the U.S. dollar. Quoting him here, it is based not only on a basket of national currencies of the member countries, but also on a basket of exchange commodities. The model shows that this currency will be very stable and much more attractive than the dollar, the pound, and the euro. Now I want to share with you actually something from Andreas Antonopoulos, one of the most powerful videos I have ever seen, hence why I uploaded it earlier on X. It's getting a lot of love, and I also did the honor of transcribing it for you because I want to read it for you today word for word. Here's what Andreas has to say, and I have a lot of respect for him because he's the one who orange-pilled me into Bitcoin. Here's what he shared. And so what does this insider group do? What do the regulators do in response to a system which cannot be regulated? They regulate the bits they can. They regulate the exchanges. They regulate the bank accounts. They regulate the national currency side of things. They shut down the on and off ramps. They say, we will not let you take your money with you. And what do the millennials say to that? Dude, I don't have any freaking money. All I have is my creative potential, my spirit, my productivity, and I can sell that directly for Bitcoin without an exchange, without an on-ramp, without an off-ramp. And when I need to buy something, I'll use my digital currency directly without re-entering your corrupt 
system in which I was never invited, shut down the on-ramps, shut down the off-ramps, and I will stay on board. I will set, stay digital. I won't touch your gilded cage anymore because I don't need you. I exit. That's right. You want to exit from the matrix. You do so with the king, BTC. And we also know that Bitcoin is the antidote to the central bank digital currencies, which is their slavery system, which we want no part of, right? So this is why we spread to the masses the message and the holy gospel of Bitcoin each and every day. Shout out to Emilio Gonzalez. What up, JV? What up, my dude? Appreciate you tuning in. Let it rip. That is right. Appreciate the super chat, guys. You're too kind. Appreciate your hard work. Emilio says, much love, much much respect. KOTM Productions says 60% stocks and 40% crypto, and those stocks are Bitcoin miners. Word up. It is what it is. Yeah. Passive says, been waiting almost four years to sell my gold. It just never goes up. That's right. And right when you think it's about to pump, there's more manipulation in the markets because that's what the corrupt powers that be and central bankers and mofos at the top like to do is get you wrecked. Right? So never listen to Jim Cramer in verse anything he ever says. Remember recently, a few weeks ago, Mr. Bitcoin is going down. And then we started freaking ripping <laughs> practically immediately after he shared that ill-intended uh, prediction to get you guys wrecked. So never listen to people like that. Never listen to those mofos. Trust nobody. Verify everything. Shout out to Smile at the Rising Sun. Appreciate you, fam. Pop G says 80% crypto and the rest is in stocks. That's what's up. Pound that like button. Appreciate the reminder, Paul. Let's get it. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. We still got a lot to cover. Next story is going to be this 400% rally incoming, sending the Bitcoin price action to $80,000 per coin. And then I'll be sharing the top predictions for 20 24 after the Bitcoin having an ETF. Like I said, it's going to blow your mind. So let's freaking go. Here we are. A crypto strategist who accurately called the May 2021 Bitcoin crash believes Bitcoin is poised for a big burst to the upside. Let's send it. We have Dave the Wave. He shared on X that based on his charts, Bitcoin could potentially surge to around $50,000 per coin before correcting to the support level of just under 30 Gs, or I'm sorry, 35. Now, following the deep corrective move, the analyst predicts the Bitcoin can rally to a price of up to 180,000 per coin, which is a gain of 420% from the current levels. We all love 420 here, don't we? Dave the Wave appears to suggest that the six-figure price target for Bitcoin could be reached in April of 2025. Quoting him here alongside this chart, a Bitcoin possible scenario, and again, in this scenario, it shows us marching on up to 180 Gs. And in another chart, which you can see here, he predicts Bitcoin will experience a mini parabolic surge ahead of the halving, just like the flagship crypto asset did prior to the 2020 halving. The halving, which cuts the Bitcoin minor rewards in half, is slated for April of 2024. So based Based on the chart you can see on your screen, he suggests a mini parabolic rally could see Bitcoin slightly above its all-time high of around $69,000. Now, Dave the Wave also says that the moving average convergence divergence, known as the MACD indicator, shows the Bitcoin is shifting into the long-term bullish mode. The MACD indicator is a momentum oscillator used to identify the strength and direction of a trend. The Bitcoin monthly MACD is now crossing the zero line into the official Bull territory. Well, let's freaking go, shall we? How many of you are pretty stoked for this upcoming having event and the approval of the ETF? Do let me know. What up, Matthew? What up, Japo420? That's what's up. Viva Bitcoin says Black Swan the Dawn. Appreciate you. What up, Rave Elevator? Good to see you, fam. Shout out to Jeffrey Tupin. Appreciate you tuning in. Kramer predictions on Bitcoin was the most bullish thing I heard all year. Yes. So thank you, Kramer, and the rest of you in the mainstream for pumping Bitcoin. We appreciate that. <laughs> I lost 20% of my mind because I was a dumb what and lost my passphrase. Oh no. That's right. But you recovered it. You had to pay a 20% fee. At least you got it recovered, right? You got 80%, right? Now the bonds are no longer a flight to safety. Bitcoin is the new bond. People are going to be selling their bonds for Bitcoin, which is why I think the ETF is going to moon more than the people think. The best is yet to come. You're damn right. Matthew says, I love that hat. Well, thank you, Matthew. Appreciate that, fam. And absolutely, Robert, the best is yet to come. Speaking of the best yet to come, now let's break down our breaking story of the day and discuss what will the Bitcoin price be after the Bitcoin ETF and the Bitcoin halving? Well, let's break this baby down. 
shall we? Here we go. Prediction one, increased institutional investment. One common prediction from top investors is that the introduction of a Bitcoin ETF will lead to a surge in institutional investment. Institutions have been hesitant to invest into crypto due to the regulatory concerns and security issues, also the lack of infrastructure. However, the Bitcoin ETF addresses many of these concerns, making it more likely that the institutional money will flow into the market. Mike Novogratz of Galaxy Digital predicts that the introduction of a Bitcoin ETF will open up that floodgate for institutional investment. He believes this will drive up the demand for Bitcoin and in turn push the price higher. Novogratz expects to see the Bitcoin price reach all-time highs in the post-ETF era. Now, here are some predictions, but first I want to share with you this. Here's the peak price of Bitcoin every year since 2015. Let's go over this. In 2015, the peak was 465. In 2016, it was 977, almost double the previous year. Then we soared 20x from 2016 to 2017, the year I got involved, and we went almost to 20 Gs. Then in 2018, it was 18.3. Then in 2019, it was almost 13 Gs. Then in 2020, we hit a new high of 28,000. Then the following year, it went to 67,000. And then in 2022, 47,000. And year to date for now, it's $35,000. Now, check out these predictions from all the big wigs. Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price. Now, naturally, she has a range that goes uh, from, I think, the the base case was a quarter million plus, and it went up to 1.48 million, with the medium average being roughly a million dollars. We have Mike Novogratz predicting 500,000. We got Tim Draper, the billionaire investor, predicting 250,000. Standard Chartered, guess who the primary shareholder of this company is? BlackRock, they're predicting 120,000. Pantera Capital, Dan Moorhead, predicting 148,000. Thomas Lee, predicting 180,000. Robert Kiyosaki, aka Rich Dad, predicting 100,000. I've even seen million dollar predictions from him. Adam Back put his money where his mouth is and even made a bet that the Bitcoin price would hit 100,000 before the halving. Arthur Hayes, 70,000. Short term, FYI, long term, we're talking millions. And even JP Morgan Chase is bullish. That's right, Jamie the Tapeworm Diamond bullish on Bitcoin, even though he once called it an index for money laundering. But fun fact, if we average these price prediction, the Bitcoin price would be around $265,500 per coin. Now, prediction number two, supply scarcity post having The Bitcoin having events occur approximately every four years, reducing the number of Bitcoin generated through mining. The most recent halving took place in 2020, and the next one's expected in a few months. Now, this reduction in supply typically leads to the higher prices and the increase Increased scarcity makes Bitcoin more attractive to investors. We got Draper, believes the price will surge in the aftermath of the 2024 halving, predicting Bitcoin can reach a quarter million per coin or even 300,000 per coin post halving as the supply shortage intensifies. This prediction is based on the historical patterns observed after the previous halving events. Now, another prediction enhanced regulatory clarity. Regulatory uncertainty has been a significant obstacle for Bitcoin and other cryptos as governments and regulators around the world grapple with how to classify and regulate these digital assets. It has created uncertainty in the market. The introduction of a Bitcoin ETF can potentially lead to greater clarity from the regulators. Come on, no clarity. Gary, where are you at? How many of you think Gary Gensler of the SEC should be fired? Let me know. And as the ETF, we need to comply with these established financial regulators. Now, another billionaire investor by the name of Paul Tudor Jones, who is the one who coined Bitcoin being the fastest horse in the race, believes that the approval of a Bitcoin ETF will pave the way for more regulated and secure crypto market. He also predicts that this enhanced regulatory environment will attract the more conservative investors, in turn, driving up the price of BTC. Now, regula regulatory clarity is often seen as a positive development in the crypto space as it reduces the risk of sudden regulatory crackdowns. Now, check this out. See MC Insights, Bitcoin price prediction following the ETF approval. You ready, fam? We know everyone's excited for the spot Bitcoin ETF approval. Here are just some of Bitcoin's price predictions if the ETF applications are approved. Skybridge Capital predicts between 150,000 and 200,000 per coin. That's Anthony Scaramucci's company, I believe. We got Fundstrat. 
which I believe is Tom Lee's company, predicting 150,000 Bitcoin. We got Morgan Creek, that's Pomp and some of the other guys over there, predicting 150,000 Bitcoin price. We got Standard Chartered, predicting between 50 and 120,000 Bitcoin price. We got Crypto Quant, predicting 50 to 73,000. And Matrix Port, predicting between 42 and 56,000 incoming for this month of November. Let me know if you agree or disagree with these asset managers and major players. Next prediction, Bitcoin becoming a global reserve asset, which would absolutely be a game changer fam. Institutional investors have traditionally relied on assets like gold and government bonds as safe havens and reserve assets. However, some top investors believe Bitcoin may emerge as the global reserve asset in the future, alongside or even surpassing traditional options. Raul Powell predicts the Bitcoin could become the world's reserve currency within the next decade. He argues the Bitcoin's digital nature, borderless nature, and scarcity makes it an ideal store of value, especially as fiat currencies face inflationary pressures. If Bitcoin begins to replace traditional reserve assets, its price can reach extraordinary levels, to say the least. Next prediction, number five, increased adoption and integration. One of the common themes amongst top investors is the belief that Bitcoin adoption and integration into everyday financial systems will continue to grow. The global financial landscape is evolving rapidly, and cryptos are increasingly becoming a part of this transformation. Now, Kathy Wood, the founder of ARK Invest and a prominent advocate for disruptive tech, sees a bright future for the king crypto. Wood believes the Bitcoin's integration and traditional financial system, including the use of blockchain tech in various industries, will drive up its price. She predicts the Bitcoin will become a mainstream asset class with broader acceptance in the years to come, leading to significant price appreciation. Conclusion, the predictions provided by some of the world's best investors paint a promising picture for the future of the Bitcoin price after the introduction of the Bitcoin ETF and the 2024 halving event, two of the biggest catalysts all occurring at approximately the same time to create that perfect storm. Increased institutional investment, supply scarcity, enhanced regulatory clarity, and the potential for Bitcoin to become a global reserve asset and the growing adoption and integration into the financial systems also suggest a bullish outlook for BTC. So there you have it, crypto fam. How bullish are you for 2024 after the approval of the ETF and the halving? Let me know and please participate in the poll. We currently have 344 votes. So please keep them coming. And let's see where we're currently standing at now. As I look at this, it shows 9% of you say between 200 and 299,000, 16% of you say 300,000 plus, 36% of you say 100 thousand to 199,000 and 39% of you say $99,000 or less. So there, you have it. What up, Ragu? What it do? Happy 420 to the crew. Let's go. Jerome, Gary Gensler should be sharing a cell with Sam Bankman Freed. How many of you agree and share that same sentiment? Let me know. Pop G, what's Crypto News Alert's own personal price prediction for this bull market. I think conservatively, I'm throwing out Max Kaiser's short-term target of 220,000. More bullishly, I say we can hit as high as 500,000, likely to be somewhere in between. I know it's a wide gap, but hey, there's no telling how high the king crypto can climb. Stock the flow model, you know what I mean? Plan B, he's predicting between, I believe, $100,000 and $1 million post 2024 having. I think that's a given as well. Shout out to the moderators. Much love. What up, Jesus? Jesus in the building. Congratulations to all the Bitcoiners. You're damn right. What it do? Wolf Music Channel, 1 million per Bitcoin. Love that sentiment. Erico says 200,000 plus by the end of 2024. That's a given. Let's go. You know what I mean? Pound that like button. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate the support, fam. Let's go. Good answer. Thank you. De nada. Gary the Tate Worm, like from Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> Will, that's freaking hilarious. Just visual Visualizing that. Abel Gonzalez predicting 390,000. Send it and let's go. We'll stop, son. Let's go, BTC. May bullish, me bullish word. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Got whole Bitcoiners? Yeah, there's a lot of whole coiners in the building. We have to keep in mind as well that there's less than 50 million millionaires in the world and there's only 21 million Bitcoin, a million are sitting in Satoshi's wallet, potentially a million sitting in uh, Max Kaiser's wallet. There's millions lost and gone forever. That takes us down to probably 17 and a half million. So we have a very finite, scarce asset, which happens to be perfect money, 
right? So not even half the millionaires in the entire planet will be able to say, I'm a whole coiner, but now is a great opportunity to be stacking stats because it's two for one, meaning you can buy two Bitcoin for the price of one, but that window is slowly closing, or I should say fastly closing, right? More accurate. Yeah, I got 100% of my net in Bitcoin. That's what's up. You are bullish guy, Sardina. Much love, much respect. Paul says 187 Gs. This cycle, send it. Having top 200,000 says Alf, 200,000 by the having. Anything under a million will be disappointed, says Fried Cash. My prediction from Pop G is 130 Gs. I definitely agree. Gary G the snake should be locked up with his old mate. SBF. Oh, that's right. Weren't they having uh, meetings behind closed doors? Why didn't Gary realize that uh, FTX was a scam? Makes you wonder, were they colluding? Isn't that an excellent question you should ask? I identify as Gary G as I fire myself. Thank you, Emilio. Gary, you're officially fired, bruh. Just saying. Research estimated lost Bitcoin is about 7 million. Holy moly. That takes us down to 14 million Bitcoin. Chill. I appreciate that super chat. Just chill with the super chats, fam. <laughs> appreciate you bringing us the latest on the daily. You're very welcome. You know what I mean? Sherry Young's predicting 150,000. J Dub says 200 to 500,000. That's exactly my prediction, J Dub. Great minds think alike. Let's send it. Yeah, let's go. Fried cash. Welcome, fam. 40, 420,000 to cycle. What a great number, Corey G. I'm going to have to uh, pray for that. I think we can hit it. Anything's possible. You know what I mean? Uh, Bitcoin is God hacking humanity. This is saving us from this chaotic, crazy world. Your channel sucks. I appreciate the feedback, Mike. I mean, if my channel sucks that bad, why are you watching it when there's like 10 billion other channels you could be tuned into? But nonetheless, I still respect and appreciate you tuning in because you're adding to those numbers. So thank you, fam. KJAM says the fam in the chat never share how much Bitcoin and crypto you hodl. I hodl anywhere from zero to 21 million bits Bitcoin. That's sage advice coming from KJAM, you know what I mean? Very smart man. Appreciate you sharing that. Jamie Diamond can eat it. Exactly. That's right. Over 400 people in the live chat over on YouTube. We also got a lot of people over on Rumble. We stream simultaneously on both platforms. If you didn't know, now you know. And if you're not following us on Rumble, go ahead and do so for uncensored crypto news alerts each and every day. Zero what up? I love this channel, says Paul. Does anyone else hate the channel? Be honest. We got one hater in the building out of 400 people. I'm just curious if there is another one who hates the channel watching right now. Let me know. $30 million each Bitcoin is possible in 10 years. Anything is possible. As I shared a prediction from one of the largest asset managers in the world, Fidelity, they're predicting $1 billion per coin by the year 2038, right? We also have, what's his name? There was another gentleman predicting like six or $8 billion. The name slipped my mind. But yeah, some of these predictions I shared today, I'd say are conservative compared to some of these other ones, you know what I mean? Spycraft, UK security gadgets, 50,000 Xmas or ambush the ETF parabolic word up. Hello. Hello from Clearwater, Florida, my old stomping ground. Shout out to DCA Bitcoin No Alts. What a do fam. Good to see you guys. Mr. Blazing Fire. What a dope username. Uh, hello from Kentucky. Kentucky in the building. What's good in Kentucky besides the fried chicken? <laughs> the channel smells of awesomeness. Thank you, Crypto Pimp. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but love for the channel. Thank you, Will. The hater is a no-coiner. That's what I'm assuming. He's holding no Bitcoin, so he hates everyone who preaches the holy gospel. That's the only way I can explain it. Yeah, 4% Bitcoin lost every year, and mining is 4% per year now, so we already hit the peak Bitcoin supply. Wow. And there's currently, what, roughly 1.6 million Bitcoin on the exchanges. There's going to be a supply shock. In 2024, it's mathematically guaranteed as a certainty, as Bitcoin price is mathematically guaranteed to go up, as the fiat currency is mathematically guaranteed to go down, and purchasing power against Bitcoin. Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is the apex predator. Just saying. I am from China. So are you, says VNuts. Well, I actually lived in China for 13 months. I lived in a, uh, a, a local town called Taiyuan in Shanxi province, maybe a couple of hours from Beijing on the bullet train. So I know all about lifestyles in China. Eat a big bag, Michael, aka hater. <laughs> thank you, Emilio. Cryptic, I love the channel. You're always keeping it real. JB, thank you. Appreciate that. It's a time risk reward deal. I can't afford to wait for 20 years. I now have my wife watching your show because apparently your show sucks so hard from what that chat said. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you, K-Jam. Shout out to your wife. If you want me to give her a shout out, let me know her name. Daniel, my fiance and I are listening in the car on our way to the Santa Cruz. She said, is this your Bitcoin hype, man? you damn straight. I am. <laughs> the war player, not even a little Ethereum, brother. I mean, it's up to you guys. 
I don't discriminate. I don't hate. I think a rising tide is going to rise all ships. As long as Bitcoin wins, all the ish coins are going to win. I want everyone to win. That's how I look at it. I don't like losers. So can we all win? Unless you're a scheme coin and your only intention from the creator was to scam everybody and be a rug pull. You know what I mean? That's a different story. Kind of like FTT with Sam Bankman Freed, but now he's where he belongs in prison. Emilio, I lost my laptop in a boat accident. Happens to the best of us. Welcome to the club. My six-year-old daughter is watching you. Her name is Kaylin. Massive shout out to Kaylin. Your parents are amazing. Listen to everything they tell you to do. And uh, you're very blessed to have great parents like you do and to be able to stack Bitcoin at such a young age. So God bless you and shout out to you and all your friends. Wolf Music, I would like to learn more about Bitcoin. Well, you come to the right place. I preach the holy gospel on a daily basis, seven days a week. So I don't get no better than that. Bitcoin is scarce, like eight track tapes today. Eight traps or eight, eight, eight tracks are before my time, but I remember cassette tapes. Anyone else remember those? When I was young, that's what we used to do. One billion, I hear you. Bring it. Let's go. What's up, Sherry? Appreciate you, Sherry Young. Let's get it. Yeah, good stuff. And that's right. Bitcoin is the most scarce asset and the only true asset with true price discovery. So when we get that Bitcoin ETF game on, it's going to be a game changer. Anyways, fam, I'm going to wrap up here on YouTube. We're going to continue with the uncensored version of Crypto News Alerts live with their JV React session as we do each and every day. But it's going to be over on Rumble. So if you're not following me on Rumble, go ahead and do so. It's rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net. You can find it in the description or simply just go to Rumble and type in crypto news alerts you'll see we're already live and we're going to get this baby lit so go ahead and do that right now and i'm going to zone out here from youtube and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow sunday at 4 p.m same bat time same bat channel so deuces to youtube well there we have it youtube stream is finished but we shall